Good morning, Chargers. Nate Laura signing on, and boy, does it feel good to be back. And as always, I'm Colleen Murphy. I hope you all missed us because we sure missed you. It's Wednesday the 4th, and DP, DP News, News starts, starts now. now. to be here on the seventh night we get to see much more light like you said from smart to bright the annual hanukkah and the mall celebration at lucumbra plaza has had menorahs it's made out of cans no. coins and ice but this year the festival of lights is being celebrated with the world's first and only smart menorah so you click here and then it would link to the smart uh, menorah over there students from dos pueblos engineering academy and entrepreneurs made it interactive by downloading an app, people with iPhones and iPads can control the lights and colors in the plastic branches. Why not apply my skills that I have been learning and interested into some cool project, a.k.a. a smart menorah? Using technology puts the power of making the world a better place in your hand. And that's what Hanukkah is about. A little light dispels a lot of darkness. There are 72 LED lights inside the branches, and it took seven weeks from conception to reality. Happy Hanukkah. In Santa Barbara, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3. All right, that's our very own Kobe Coffer being featured on last night's KEYT News at 11. You might remember Kobe introducing the smart menorah on his Monday Kobe Corner. All of us here in DP News and in the Engineering Academy and all around school, I'm sure, are extremely proud of Kobe for his accomplishments. Keep up the good work, Chargers. Tonight, freshman parents have a meeting to attend from 6.30 to 7.30. If you have any questions, please go talk to Ms. Irwin, or you could email her at dirwin at sbstk12.org. It's everybody's favorite time of the year. That's right, it's holiday package time. The holiday package variety show will be opening Monday, December 16th, and will run for five nights. The show is a student-written, directed, and acted sketch comedy extravaganza that will undoubtedly be one of the funniest nights of your life. Ever. Ever. So, uh, come on over. And uh, also, who can forget the wonderful male ballet that's included? Senior boys dancing in tutus. You don't want to miss that. Trust me. Tickets go on sale this Friday the 6th outside the business office. So head on over because the show will sell out. Say, Colleen, have you ever had a paper that sent you into a spiraling depression because you just didn't know how to start it? Oh boy, have I ever! Well, in that case, there's a place to help people just like us. The Writing Center is open every day after school except for Fridays. It's 3 to 4 on Mondays, 3 to 5 on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. You could also squeeze in a little 8 to 9 a.m. session on Thursday mornings. This Saturday is the first ever DP Candy Cane 5K Run. This awesome event is a fundraiser for different DP organizations, including sports, leadership, and news. The day will start at 9 and be filled with fun booths, a great run, and there are rumors that even Santa himself will be making an appearance. It's only $5 to participate. I'll see you there and catch me if you can. I know, I'll try to be there. Well, DP, that's all we have for you today. I'm Nate Lara. And I'm Colleen Murphy. Smell you later, Chargers. Cole Smith and our boys Cross Crunchy made it to third at the state meet during Thanksgiving break. Addy Zarenner placed second in the state meet. Our Chargers varsity basketball team suffered a tough loss against Rigetti, with the final score being 63-35. to Keep your head up, guys. We know you gave it your all. Our Chargers JV basketball had a great victory against Rigetti, being 57-39. to Great way to start off the season, guys. Andrew, Mag Andrew McGuan won the Runner of the Month by Presidio Sports for being a team leader and ethnical runner. Boys JV and varsity soccer have a game tonight against Santa Paula at our field. Boys Frosh has a game today against Buena at our field. And yesterday, girls soccer had, a, had their first game at, at Moorport. Moore Park. That's all I have for you today. I'm Yashini Ibrahim. Have a nice day.